So my first drum kit was what we'd call a toy, because it was plastic and small. Mm. This donut is small, but it's not plastic. I, I got the, the, the first kit, it was around when I was uh, yay high, uh, if I was standing on the table, not astro projecting through it. And uh, I beat that kit to hell. Uh, my first like real kit was uh, this little red kit from Pacific. Pacific is now PDP by DW because corporations ruin everything. And uh, that one also got beat to hell. And now I've had the same like full size kit from Pearl for, for, for like a decade or something or longer. So that, that's what's going on there. Uh, I go through, I mean, it kind of just depends on what sticks I'm buying because I go back and forth between various cheap, poorly made brands. Uh, but on average, I don't know, maybe in a week a pair or two breaks, but it also depends heavily on how much I'm playing or practicing as well. So there's just a lot of contextual circumstances that affect those numbers. My favorite drummer is Gavin Harrison, who is known from such groups as Porcupine Tree and Pineapple Thief and also King Crimson. But mostly I like him because not only is he technically proficient, but he can even play simple things or minimalistic things and make them sound really tasty, much like a donut. You really can't have one without the other because technique contributes a great deal to consistency. You have to have good technique in order to hit consistently and get a good tone out of the drum. And you also have to have good technique to be physically comfortable while you're playing. Good technique doesn't just help playing, it helps your physical resilience and endurance. And all those things contribute to better groove because you need to be comfortable and you need to be consistent to have a good groove and consistent rhythm as you're playing. So. They're really just sort of hand in hand, much like the dough of a donut along with the cinnamon and the glaze. If they were all separated, I'd still eat them, but it'd be sadder. Well, the thing about... <laughs> yeah, but... Well, the thing about donuts is, they're donuts. There's a lot of dough involved and no nuts, so somewhat paradoxical. You know, it's kind of uh, philosophically uh, brilliant. Also, no good. Doesn't matter, because regardless of what it is, one of us is getting arrested. Probably this.